Hey guys, welcome back to the Wood Metal Workshop. Got a new toy. I uh, actually got it for Christmas, but accidentally ordered the wrong one, so I had to return it. Got the new one back. So, wanted one of these since I got the 210 MP. Helps you flip the catch out. Spool gun. We can do aluminum now. Wow. Aluminum that's not TIG. So, this is the Lincoln Magnum Pro 100 SG. Comes in a nice, the case is really nice. Got room for wire, got some spare tips, got your directions and stuff. Like I said, I've already opened one of these and it was the wrong one. So this time it's the right one, had the right pin count. So first thing you need to do is go ahead and put wire in it. This gun will do 030 and 035. Takes the one pound spools. pretty simple to set up so we'll get it set up unfortunately I don't have any good aluminum to run some tests on I'm gonna have to go dig through the scrap pile and see what I can find All right, we'll switch over to the machine and get the machine set up. Pretty simple to do. You take your MIG gun, lead out, which is right here. There's a switch right here, spool gun, regular gun. Pretty simple. Slide this on your yep, get the clamps loose. Slide that all the way in. There's a couple of O-rings on it. Make sure you're tight. There's a little knob here you tighten up. Yep. Holds the gun in place. Same one you loosen to get your other one on or put your other one on originally. Plug. So this might be the most difficult part. Getting the little tabs lined up. There we go. Tighten that up. Should be good to go. Let's uh, plug it in and turn it on and see what we get. So I did not <coughs> switch over to straight argon yet. This is just a test run, so we're just going to turn the machine on. Let me switch sides here so I can see it a little bit better. Okay, so we're going to hit the home button. Turn it to spool gun, select. Okay, that's right. And you can, on this machine you can run 4043 or 5356. We're running 4043. Select your thickness, close it from three, 18 gauge to 3 16 And like everything else, it sets your presets for everything. You can press for more options. You got your run in, spot timer. And inductance. And all you have to do is pull the trigger. There we go. Let me go see if I can find some aluminum and we'll get the tank switched over to Argon. Be right back. Alright guys, got the uh, 
and switched over, found. This is just a piece of extruded aluminum that I had out in the scrap bin. So, I'm going to purge that a little bit, make sure we have gas. And we'll give this thing a first try. Oh, you know what might help? We actually attach the work lead. It'll weld much better that way. It works. That might be a little hot for let's do it. Let's turn it down just a little bit. Well, let's give that a try. That actually looks really good. Not bad for my second bead with a brand new school gun. You want to give it a try, Kevin? You're going to be trying it out a lot more. Yeah. I know that. This is going to look like crap. It's huge. How do your hands... They're, they're tight on my hands. Yeah, they're huge. They're big on mine. Too much stuff out. Put it in. Okay, it doesn't look as good as mine. You're moving a little fast and your stick out was a little Yeah, long. yeah, I know. So, and the piece had heated it up for my weld, so. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> Alright guys, well there we go. First impression, it welds. It's easy to set up, fairly easy to use. Um, I imagine there's going to be a little bit more of a learning curve as we uh, move forward on some aluminum projects, which we have a big one coming up, and that's why I needed to get this set up and running. Uh, it's kind of a funky setup right now. My argon tank is on the TIG welder cart, so to get the argon hooked to the uh, 210 MP, had to get park them close enough where I could reach the hose between the two of them. But uh, yeah, it works. If you want to weld aluminum, don't want to do TIG, get a spool gun. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, go hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. And if you like what we did here today, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Or hit it anyways. Or the thumbs down button. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down button. I don't care. Any of those buttons helps with the algorithm. All right, guys, catch you in the next one. Bet they didn't like my weld.